This week on Barbell Business, we tell you about Barbell Logic and how awesome it is. Welcome to Barbell Business. I'm Mike Bledsoe, and I'm here with Marcus Kersey and Doug Larson. Oh, Yo. I... Uh, Why'd you go to him first? I, I was f <laughs> fucking with Hunter. <laughs> Hunter was started going over to Doug, and he's like, oh, go to Marcus instead. <laughs> <laughs> you keep him on his toes. That's right. Uh, today's a special show. It, uh, we want to keep it nice and short. It is the holiday season, and we know that you're probably just getting to and fro, and you want to... You want to get the barbell business in, and you probably don't want to spend an hour listening to it. So we're going to make this short and sweet to the point, and what we're going to do is we're going to give you the show that a lot of our customers have suggested that we do, which is just to tell you about the product, Barbell Logic. And I think um, we could probably start off by, I think most people, when they discover what we have going on, they either have been listening to the show, and they picked up on it, and have checked out what we have going on the website. Um, but I I would think that a lot of people probably come to us when they think they need a – they either want to grow their business quickly or they're ready for a website build. And they look at building a website and it's going to cost thousands of dollars to do it. And then you Tens look at – thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. but yeah, if you're going to do a good one, <laughs> it all depends. You get what you pay for. Yeah. We know um, some people spend up to 50 grand to build their website. Yeah. And they end up with a nice website, but it is 50 grand. Yeah. yeah. So uh, one of the things we've done with Logic is we've – Taken, it goes beyond website, does a lot of other things. We're going to dig into what it actually is today. And it's done on a subscription basis. So what we do is we spread that the term out over an amount of time. So you're not having to dish out what would normally cost $50,000 over the amount of time. And, and I know some people might be listening going, what website costs $50,000? And we're actually talking about a marketing machine, not a website. So uh, Marcus, can you outline some of the things that – you know, I, I think that on at face value, when someone uh, at, from a customer perspective, when they see it, that's kind of what you see first. That's the first thing you notice. Yeah, the uh, the two big kind of like buzzwords people tend to be drawn to, that which are you know always get attention: website and then automation. Mm -hmm. And they always think like, oh, well, that means you know just automated campaigns. That just means lead generation. <laughs> and the website, like you said, people always say, well, I, I could always use a, a better website. I know I need a better website. People always talk about this. Mine maybe is okay, or maybe it just looks cool, but it doesn't really do anything. So that's usually what gets people's attention at first. But like you said, there's there's so much that goes into what Barbell Logic really is. And once once we really get into talking about it in context, someone goes, oh, that's way Way more than I thought this was. And yeah, and, and the, what we've done with the pricing is kind of a first of its kind in its industry where, you know, even when you, it's not just that it's like a subscription model, which makes it way more attainable for people, but it's the fact that, you know, th there's no, no, no more is there like this huge initial setup fee. But even when you take just the cost of what it would take to do what Barbell Logic does, like a la carte within your business, like, you know, you, you have the website maintenance and SEO and the automation software and the licenses and the hosting and like all those pieces already add up to two to three thousand bucks a month, which for most gym owners is why they're not doing it because it's too expensive. Yeah. And what we've done is we've been able to compress that because of our economy of scale and the things that we kind of do behind the scenes with a few other projects has enabled us to be able to deliver something basically for what it's way less than what it's supposed to cost and give the horsepower that's normally only available on an enterprise level now to a CrossFit affiliate, which is super, super cool. And it'll never go out of style. No. So it's not... You know, Good I, business never goes out of style. <laughs> <laughs> well, we talked about this on previous show. On a previous show, we talked about the website. And if you haven't updated your website in the last two or three years, it pretty much automatically means you have to do that, which if you're using Logic, not going to have to do that because right. our job is to make sure that everything is converting and <clears throat> working well and looking great all the time. It'll never be out of style because it's in everybody's best interest to make it as good as possible all the time. 
Yeah, exactly that. It's it's because it's all integrated, right? And it's and the way that we structure the service is it's it's really up to us to build you something that works really, really well, not just in the short term, but long term, because everything that we do is based actually on what's going to build an awesome business for you, not just plug the I need a new website hole or like, hey, I need to do I need to step up my lead generation or lead nurturing or or my sales process. It takes the entire thing into account and says, okay, I get that you want the website and that we want the automation piece, but let's get the entire business performing that well so that we have a, a thriving business all around so that we can, so that the website is doing its job in all of the different roles rather than just maybe lead generation or just in, you know, the, from an automation standpoint, lead nurturing or any of these kind of pieces. Yeah. Going into the automation piece, uh, <laughs> I, I think I've actually been surprised by this is I've had people go, Oh, you're like the automation guy. Like I, I get talking to people. I was like, Oh, I never, I guess we've been talking about automation for so long that we've been no, become known for that. And I, I think it's been a term that's almost thrown around too much now because everyone's like, automate means it's just done for you. But what exactly does that mean in regard to Barbell Logic? That's actually a really good question because, um, you know, a lot of people think automate and they, they think just, oh, that means I'm going to automate some email campaigns. Like I'm just going to put some like, you know, some, uh, some drip campaigns in place or it's going to, you know, we're going to kind of go from one email sequence to the next. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about all automating a workflow. If within that workflow, there are emails, but there are also tasks to certain uh, key staff members at certain points to make sure certain things get done, whether it's like a check-in or a phone call. It's about actually architecting an entire business model and automating that and automation, again, and, and from another aspect, we're not talking about eliminating human touch. It's about leveraging human touch. It's about, you know, at the end of the day, we are in a relationship business. And it's about leveraging you and your team's time as best as possible at the right time so we can start a relationship the right way and continue to build upon that over time in a way to where your members go, wow, this guy's always on top of it. Like these guys just have their shit together. But it's because we basically define your best case scenario from ev from the very first touch point into years of membership and then create a process of if this, then that for the entire thing, put it in place and the automation piece, which we use in FusionSoft, is able to then make sure happens every single time in a repeatable and now measurable way. Mm -hmm. So you're actually to do you're able to do a significantly better job for your clients, both pre-sale, during the sales process, onboarding into multiple years of membership every single time with less work. So now you're doing the better job and you have more time and energy to spend on the actual relationships and building the business and, and the culture in your team and your and your community all together. Yeah, being able to save that time by having the whole thing automated is huge. That way you can go focus on the things that you're more passionate about. Most yep. team owners were passionate about CrossFit specifically and training specifically and they didn't want to have to deal with building websites and, and doing back-end automation mm -hmm. and data collection and, and analytics and, and all these things that aren't aren't their passion. It wasn't the reason they started a business to do these things. They wanted to be a good coach. They wanted to help people get results. And so being able to to automate all this stuff on the back end makes it where you can spend more time with your training programs, with your <clears> athletes, <throat> having that one-on-one -on -one personal relationship and building the culture, the, the fun stuff, so mm -hmm. to speak. And then you don't have to worry about all the technical details of the, of the business because you've, you've gone through this done-for-you service and it's all automated in the background. Yeah. You look at any other like professionalized like service business, whether you're a chiropractor, you're an attorney, you're a dentist. These are trade. These are like master craftsmen at what they do. Right. So they're like, I'm a kick ass dentist. And then I build a business around me so I can be a kick ass dentist and make good money doing it while delivering an awesome service to my clients. Mm -hmm. You should be trying to do the same thing in your gym. Stop trying to be the everything guy and waste your time and energy that is really, really limited. And and because this is a relationship thing, if you're worn out and then you show up to nurture a relationship, you're going to suck. So the whole point is take all of those tasks off of your plate, leverage a team, which is what we provide with through, you know, you have a web team, you have designer, you have copywriter, you have, you literally never have to screw around with building anything on your site or the automation again. That's now included with the service. So you can basically, as if you've hired this team, work with these people to get the shit done that needs to get done to build your business and continue to spend your time and energy on those key things like delivering a great service, enhancing it, learning more, working with your team and all those, those pieces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when, when me and Mike were running Faction years ago, you know, five, six, seven years ago, uh, we had things kind of like this, but like super scaled down. It's not very good. We were beginners to this world of automation. So we had some drip campaigns and, and some workflows worked out, but 
Um, it wasn't very specific to the the person that was going through it. The cool thing about Logic, as opposed to what we used to have five, six, seven years ago when we were brand new at this, is that um, everyone that comes into your business and is thinking about becoming a member, they, they want to feel like the service is tailored towards them and, and it has their, their goals and aspirations in mind. And it's the mm-hmm. perfect fit for them and whatever their goals happen to be. So if you're a guy that wants to, to you know get as big as possible, you're real skinny, you want, you want to gain a bunch of muscle mass, then you know, the messaging... From from logic will say, hey dude, I know you want to get bigger and stronger. Like it's it's kind of tailored towards mm-hmm. you and you and your goals. And then on the the other side of that, you know, if you're a female that wants to just lean down and 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 firm up, firm up and loosen body fat, then it's it's messaging you like that. That way that way it, they can tell it's not generic, and they're they can feel like oh, okay, like this this gym, these people get me. Yeah, they understand who I am and what I want out of my experience. Yeah. And that's, you know, and that kind that's of brings powerful. Up, that's super powerful because yeah. it's great marketing is really just about having a really relevant conversation. Mm-hmm. Whenever we do this whole like general one size fits all approach to anything really, you get only such a good return on investment, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's going to be pretty good for most and but for a lot it's not going to apply, but you're not really going to resonate with anyone, mm-hmm. right? Rather that I would much rather have a laser focused approach with my marketing and have a really specific conversation with you Doug about what you care about, what matters to you. And then when you tailor everything around that, and you don't even have to go, it's it's not that it's overcomplicated. It's really just about whether it's the the imaging that's being used and or just a little bit of the language. Like we can create the same overall flow for your target client, but then just little personalizations go such a long way to make you go, oh, you totally get what I'm talking about and this matters to me. And then someone's engaged, they take the next step. And that's really what it all comes down to. Yeah, we kind of talked about the the two the two pieces of, of this overarching system. We have the, the website component, and then we have kind of the back end automation workflow part of it. Uh, and then we're actually right now in the process of building a complimentary coaching program to go along with with this service, which really kind of ties it all together with that 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 consistent personal touch, with, which we're really excited about. Uh, Mike Mike mentioned that it's more or less a, a marketing machine more than it is just just kind of a website. Uh, if we haven't really dug into the website on on this particular show because we did a whole show about the website and and what a good what makes a good marketing website what what kind of website you need to get people to come into your business and to be able to recruit those people those people those people as <laughs> as athletes uh, so if you haven't seen that that uh, episode you can go to barbabusiness.com slash website and, and check out that episode because it really is quite good and we, we go through uh, all the things that your website needs to be like a modern kick-ass website yeah and with and with logic too you know part of the the process and and because if you if you zoom all the way out with barbell logic it's it's you know, we have kind of two categories. We have the tech category and then we have the like business coaching aspect. And we've already had, we've always had an element of the business coaching as a piece of it, mm. which is what has allowed us to totally personalize the technology to get it specific to you, your vision, your target demographic and make it actually really be effective for you. We're taking that to a whole nother step where now it's going to be, I mean, it's taking it to a whole nother level. And that personalization piece on the front end allows us to say, okay, Doug, where are you in your business exactly? Where are your strengths? Where are your weaknesses? Now let's get crystal clear on where you want to go, who you want to work with, what do you want out of this as an owner? Great. Now, based on that, we can build an actual strategy that is in alignment with your vision and with the target client that you want to work with so we can create a legit win-win at every step of your client experience. Now, based on that strategy, we can actually get to work and build you a website that is going to speak to the people that are that you're trying to bring into the gym, the right imagery, the right language, the right offer. And we literally will go through and craft the entire life cycle around this. And it's always leading back to the website because the website is really just the skin over the machine, right? The website to the end user on the front end looks like it's got like 10, 12, like really nicely designed and like easy to, to navigate and, and whatnot pages on the front end. It's a really tight site. But on the back end, this thing's got like 150 pages mm-hmm. because every time someone who is in any of your funnels, so whether it's on the front end, whether they are you know two years into membership, they're getting a survey or it's a movement tip video or it's any of these like hundreds of different communications we craft, it's always driving them back to the website, which is a really nicely branded experience, which overall elevates the brand because mm-hmm. it's not about the whole like smoke and mirrors game anymore about where it's like, hey, you build a you know a cool looking CrossFit site on the front end, and as soon as they become a member, everything looks like shit. Survey Monkey Survey, landing lead pages, landing page for the event you're doing, it's a, a Mailchimp newsletter, it's all just kind of cobbled together and looks really kind of mom pa, right? And so instead we say, well, why don't we take every one of these elements and we weave them into the site on the back end so we have this 
although it looks really tight, this huge site to always drive people back to that when they get to a page, it's always really specific to where they're at from every aspect, from what they're seeing, the the messaging that's in there. And again, it's oh, you're obviously benefiting from that because you're having you're controlling the branding experience top to bottom. So the site actually plays a huge role in the overall experience somebody has in that perceived value play that you are you know delivering through your service and now reinforcing by every time you send a communication always looks really tight really well thought out really professional which obviously helps you stand out altogether and this goes beyond uh getting new people in the door <clears throat> Talk that's about, just a small part of it. about retention which i think you're kind of getting into is even after people are members of the gym after they've you know, you have this really tight uh, brand message experience happening. And then once they become members, it doesn't stop there. It keeps mm-hmm. happening. And I think that that's, again, a lot of times people think that marketing uh, stops once someone joins, once the purchase has been made. And that's technically not the case. It's it's all it's one system, front to back. Um, and, I mean, it's, it's cheaper to retain a client than it is to try to get new ones in. And there's a lot of effort put in on the retention side of everything that's going on with Logic. Yeah, it's people have to get out of the mindset of just like grow, 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 grow. And it's the reason why they're doing that is because they're 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 needing to patch or make up for the the shitty retention and lack of systems and infor- reinforcement beyond them signing up because I still a talk lot of to- times retention isn't have to do with doesn't have to do with the coaching that's happening. It's the it's the system. It's, it's usually not the coaching at all. Yeah. It's it's the overall experience and perceived value somebody has. And again, that's part of us crafting a strategy because the the whole thing is built around like, okay, who do you, who are you trying to work with, right? That's on the front end. Then we want to create a sales process that actually is going to communicate the messaging correctly to the person you're trying to speak to, get them into an onboarding process that actually makes sense again for them and for you. So you're getting the balance of, you know, hey, I'm getting to coach the way that I need to coach, but we're also making sure it works from a timing standpoint and like flow standpoint, business staffing resources, everything is considered. And that's the really good gyms I get my hands on that's where they stopped and they think oh well that's the marketing is just into that and then everything after that the the coaching is just going to take care of itself the training will take care of itself the program will take care of itself no it will not it does not work well enough anymore we have to continue to build on that perceived value or else people will get it gets stale and then they start looking around or they start losing interest so you have to continue to engage and provide value in a way to where it's like oh these guys are just it just keeps going right and right when they think they figured it out there's a new kind of you know survey or piece of content or something that's totally relevant to where they're at in their journey again and you keep them engaged and you're able to continue to take this what used to be just like a flatline ascension model there was none it was just like selling a group membership and that's it forever we've now learned over the years that you can't just rely on that. If you really want to build a box that is you know, providing an awesome service and making money at the same time, you have to create an ascension model where maybe people start with group and then eventually you want to sell some personal training and some nutrition coaching and some product. And like, you have to just do it all in a way that it makes sense to the person you're trying to keep around. And then when it, when it does, it's the next natural thing for the client. Mm-hmm. Well, our job with Barbell Logic is to help you map that out. Let's figure out what that strategy looks like beyond just the marketing piece on the very front end, which is the, the shortest part of the whole thing. They're going to be with you for years if you get it right. So continue to maximize that for years so they stick around longer and at a higher perceived value. Everybody wins. They're getting what they want out of it. You're getting what you want out of it as a business. You have great relationships with people, and it's just a, a real win-win. Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people who come in and purchase Logic, I think they're really surprised that you know they come in to buy marketing and a website, and then when they get done with the process, they're just like they're amazed at how much of uh, of the business we actually helped map out where there were gaps. And yeah, we just did a show with uh, Ryan where he's talking about when you were talking to him about uh, the different strategies in his business and all fit together and there's these just really alarming gaps yep. that, that you just don't see but because we have a very tight system from front to back it's going to be very obvious to us it's good to have a third party looking into your business anyway yeah yep. the, sorry go ahead Doug I was going to say a lot of gym owners as well they're not very good at at tracking what's going on within their company they they might write down every single movement they do and in all their workouts and sets and reps and weight and keep a phenomenally good um 
workout log where they know exactly if they're getting, you know, how they're getting better and where where they are getting better, where they're not getting better. But they might not have any kind of dashboard or metrics for for their company where mm-hmm. they don't know how many new leads they got or how many new new members signed up that month or how many renewals or or any of that stuff. And so one thing that we've built into Barber Logic is is the dashboard. So mm-hmm. um, can you can you talk about the details of the dashboard? Like what what's in the dashboard and, and why is it so important? So the dashboard is this is in this is an Infusionsoft dashboard that we custom built, and what this does is it takes it gives you transparency top to bottom around really where everybody is at all the stages in your life cycle. So you can see your sales pipeline. Oh, this is how many people I have. You know, three new leads. I have two people who we've called that are waiting for us to get back to them or them to get back to us so we can schedule them. We've got you know twelve new wins this month, three losses this month. There's that many people referred, and you can literally see the entire thing. Plus, it the, because Infusionsoft is it allows you to automate workflows and not just um, you know email campaigns. Like I said, and this is this is huge because this allows you to now have like you have a task list that's generated. So you also in this dashboard now have your tasks for the day where you log in. You're like, cool, I got to do these five things. And when I'm done with these five things, I know I have a hundred percent on my client experience. Like mm-hmm. this first one was like a follow up on a sales call. This one was to do my three month check in with a client. This is like my one year anniversary text message I like to send. Mm-hmm. Whatever these different bits are, we will map it out and create a task list that automatically gets generated for you based on your life cycle strategy. And then now the dashboard is transparency plus you know exactly what to do every day. Mm-hmm. And so, um, but what I want to say about Infusionsoft, because this is, I, I think we kind of skipped over this in the beginning. Infusionsoft is our weapon of choice for a reason. It is not a, uh, you know, a MailChimp automation tool. It is not a hatchbuck. It is not one of these things that's just email campaigns that are just, hey, here's a canned email campaign. Yeah. This is about mapping your entire business strategy top to bottom as a workflow or series of workflows and processes, which are then, this is it, part of the, the marketing, you know, pre-sale. This is part of like the sales workflows. These are retention workflows. These are referral workflows, upsell workflows, the entire thing. We look at every key category of the business, map it out, make sure we have one overarching ideal experience that is the win-win for the business owner and the client. And then Fusionsoft allows us to to put the framework in place to make sure it happens in the measurable way with the dashboard. Yeah, these are these are automated SOPs in a way. Like you, you kept talking yep. about how they're you know their processes and it's a consistent a consistent system. It SOPs like mm-hmm. it's it's not like a handwritten SOP where like I gotta like you know you know unlock the front door and take the trash out and make sure the toilet paper is there. Like it's not it's not manual. It's it's automated back end SOP. So if you don't have any marketing standard operating procedures in your company, like we're providing that for you. That way the client gets a consistent experience, just like you'd have if you had a standard operating procedure. That kind of implies that it's going to be a consistent experience. It's the standard. Yeah, yeah that that was yeah. one thing I had a challenge with when I was first running the gym is. The idea of producing standard operating procedures where I'd sit down and write it out and then try to put it in place was just overwhelming. It was just not my wheelhouse. Had at the time we had a company like, you know, Barbell Business and being able to use something like Barbell Logic, like handhold me through the process. That would have been amazing. Yeah, we literally (laughs) build your process for you. Mm -hmm. So where someone goes from maybe, even if someone is a really good salesperson on the front end and a great coach, we now give them a structure to follow where we define the best case scenario and every if this, then that. So if if someone fills out a form and you call them and they don't pick up, great. Here's the if this, then that for that. Here's the follow-up sequence for that and the rescheduling one. Or if someone doesn't show up for an intro session, what are you doing to make sure we get them back in the door Mm -hmm. and no one falls through the cracks? There's that aspect of it. And it's um, uh, now I lost my train of thought. It was uh, it it puts something in place. Oh, because most of the time you don't want to be the guy doing this role forever. You don't want to be the person necessarily doing intros and calls and all. The whole point of this is to build a business made of processes, not dependent on you necessarily. Doesn't mean you do you can't have a job in your business forever because you like it. That's what most people who have a CrossFit gym are doing. They built it. Like, they're wanting to build a kick-ass lifestyle business, which is hey, more power to you. That's the, the, the dream gig, right? Yep. But you need to be able to take a vacation. You need to be able to say, you know what? Now I'm interested. I got this new idea for a cool new program. I'm going to go spearhead that. Susie, you're on sales. Here's your process. Here's exactly how it's measured. Here's how you do it. And nothing skips a beat. No one falls through the cracks. No one knows, about, well, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. It's really easy. So not only can you show them how to do what you were doing, and we'll help you, we'll coach you on how to actually transition someone into the position, but we can even do a training with that person and just say, sure, send us Susie. We'll do a training with her, show her exactly how to do it. She's good to go. And you can go on and move on to your new program. You could never do that if you didn't have SOPs for it, let alone like tools that actually make it efficient for Susie to do her job and, and actually do a great job every time and not be totally overwhelmed again. 
Uh, so unlike a lot of systems where you have to have this big upfront cost and you just buy the thing and then you, and then you have it, we've, we've chosen to do a subscription model where you're essentially licensing a website from us. That way you don't have to like pay this big $50,000 chunk up front. So if someone was interested to to start today, they wouldn't have to have that, that big chunk of money up front. Uh, and then if they were interested, how, what, is, what does that onboarding process look like? How long would it take for them to go from calling you to actually having a, a done like inbound marketing comprehensive complete system for their gym. Yeah, so the the overall process is uh, we've done we've done a few really cool things in this and that's because the last couple of years we've kind of just had our heads down and just basically barreled everything back into our staff, our processes so that we can facilitate the best possible system at the cost that we actually have it at now, which is crazy. And a lot of people are pissed in our industry because we've kind of, we kind of make them look silly with their huge upfront costs because now that's been eliminated altogether. Yeah. And so, cause so here's how I like to explain it. So if you look at Barbell Logic, it's, it really is technically three parts. You have the website, you have the infusion soft build out, and then you have the business coaching piece. If we looked at in our industry, the kind of website that Barbell Logic is, which is loaded with all of the lead magnets, the custom written content design, the 120 to 150 landing pages, like it's a behemoth of a site. It's mm-hmm. you know search engine optimized to the nines. It's it's just it's a it's, it's a legit too. website. Yeah, and they're beautiful. Yeah, you get a, you're gonna pay for a site like this five to ten plus thousand bucks at least to start, and that's excluding any integrations for any of the actual automation. Yep. I'm just talking about like face value yep. to build a dope site that looks like this on the front end, five to 10 plus thousand bucks for a setup. And then you're going to spend for hosting, SEO, any maintenance packages, backups, and let alone if you actually want to get any edits done, you're going to spend anywhere from like four or 500 to over a thousand bucks a month. Easy every time. That's the website. Next category, Infusionsoft. Infusionsoft works a little different. They are a system that you license. So you have to go to Infusionsoft, you pay them like 1500 to 2000 bucks for a setup, and then you're going to pay three to $400 a month for the license. Well, that gives you just the keys to get in. There is nothing in there. You would literally have to start from scratch and either go through the crazy ass steep learning curve of learning how to, first of all, come up with a strategy, write all the emails, create all the stuff, build the campaigns. Yeah. It took us over a thousand hours to build version one, let alone everything we've done since then. That was with actual Infusionsoft engineers in the house, right? Mm-hmm. So now if you say, okay, I'm going to go and buy Infusionsoft and I'm going to hire a strategist who actually knows this business, knows what I'm trying to accomplish, et cetera, and helps me map out my lifecycle strategy. And I'm going to hire the copywriters to write the hundreds of different emails and landing pages and surveys, et cetera, et cetera, and create all the content. Good luck with that. You're going to spend thousands of hours just doing that shit. Mm -hmm. And then you have some engineers that actually build it all out and tie it all together and actually put it in place and train everybody and get everything. Dude, you're going to spend three, four, five times as much as you spend on the website just on the setup, let alone if you ever want to make any tweaks or edits, they're going to charge you hundreds of bucks an hour to make those edits, right? There's some agencies out there that do this kind of thing because Infusionsoft is a tool that is used by some really kick-ass companies. So there's agencies out there that'll do this for you and they'll charge an arm and a leg. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the Infusionsoft piece. And then business coaching. We're talking about on the low end, 50 bucks an hour, high end, 300 bucks Yeah, you probably won't get it for less than like... 90 bucks an hour for someone who's actually good. There's a Someone's lot of good. people out there's, there. Yeah, there's some you say get, they can do it, but really when it comes down yeah. to it, they'll kind of slap something together and then the second you go to build another campaign, that first one was so shittily built, it doesn't actually tie into it's your like other a, one because it wasn't a standard turns into a house of cards. Yes. I, I've heard the story. Yeah. yeah. And that's why times, people who yeah. had Infusionsoft have struggled with it because the thing about Infusionsoft is it's extremely powerful. That's why we use it. But there's also a big learning curve, which is why a lot of small business owners will buy it and then get pissed because they're like, oh my God, that was so hard to use. Well, it's really hard to set up. It's not hard to use, yeah. right? So once you have it set up correctly, it's like, oh, that's easy. I have my little basic dashboard and I do these three things and I'm, I look like yeah. a freaking pro. And it's, we it's, set it's that up difference. for you. Yeah, we do the whole thing for you. Yeah, it's the, it's the difference between building a car and buying a car. If you buy a car, you, you can drive it. <laughs> Cus- buying a custom you, race car or building a custom race car. Yeah, it's building a car is way more challenging. But if, <laughs> if it's built, then you can drive it no problem. Yes, exactly. No doubt. So, so we have website, then we have Infusionsoft, and then for the coaching, again, just like any kind of coaching, you could spend a few hundred bucks a month, or you could spend a few thousand bucks a month, depends on who you hire. Mm-hmm. So when you take all of that and you smush it together and you look at the cost, you're going to spend tens of thousands of dollars, like you said, on the front end, just for a build out to get you something that looks and, and actually behaves like this. Not a, what a lot of lookalikes are doing, where it's just a website and a few drip campaigns. I'm talking about legitimately building a business system. That's why people will spend 50 plus thousand bucks on one of these things. Mm-hmm. That's just to get it set up. Here's the keys. Then ongoing licensing, hosting, SEO, uh, backups, edits, 
And if you ever want to tweak your Infusionsoft or your website so that everything continues to work optimally as the marketplace evolves, your vision for your business evolves, your staffing evolves, your programs evolve, like you're going to be spending two, three thousand plus bucks a month just to keep it going. Now, that's clearly not attainable by 99.9% of the CrossFit affiliates out there. But the tool is essential. It is, it is a huge lever in basically letting you run your gym like a pro rather than continuing to kind of like bullshit your way through it while everyone else who does take it seriously and can invest in can continue to move forward. So we have tweaked the model altogether. So basically, like I said, we've using economy of scale, been able to chip away at this initial setup. Because when we first started selling it, it there, was a, there was still an initial setup fee, which relatively speaking was still much smaller than it should have been, but it was still a lot for a CrossFit gym. Mm-hmm. Well, over the last couple of years, if we, as we have continued to build this, this category in our business and really kind of pour into it, we've been able to eventually now eliminate that initial upfront altogether. So it's now just a fixed subscription, which someone now has access to, not to mention we've added all this other cool shit to it in the meantime. So it is it is an insane return on investment because for the cost of like, for most gyms, like four or five, six memberships, which remember they're on a recurring thing too. So once we show you how to add a handful of memberships or keep a handful of memberships ever, the system now pays for itself. Now one you have time, not every month. One time, not like, oh, well that means I've got to add five more members every month. No, you do that once. Which it's paid for. It's paid for. So you have your web covered. You have your automation covered. You have a business coach now who's literally going to map out a plan with you and say, okay, you said you wanted to go from 50 members to 200 members over the course of the next 24 months. Let's do this. And this is someone who has actually done this many, many, many times. Remember, for those of you guys watching, this is not something we're just like kind of like slapping together on the fly. We have been in this industry working with CrossFit affiliate owners for a decade. We've, I've worked with over a thousand affiliates at this point to get to where we are today. This is the culmination of a decade of working our ass off, helping CrossFit affiliate owners build legit businesses. That's what Barbell Logic is. It is it is the the linchpin in you going from startup mode to a building a professional, legitimate CrossFit affiliate. And we bring those tools to you to help you get that done. So you mentioned the website, the the business coaching and, and the automation individually and, and you kind of laid out like the cost structure for each one of those things and how that's a phenomenally expensive thing to do if you want to do it all on your own. Mm-hmm. We didn't even talk about how long all that stuff would take. Oh, it would that's take right. you an enormously long time to actually design and build like the perfect website for your gym and then have it tied in to the lead magnets, you know, the ebooks and whatnot, and then they lead down all these different funnels. Like it would take you a year to build all that at stuff. At least at least a year, if not more. It took us a year or two to build that ourselves I and mean, we know what we're doing. So for the average CrossFit gym owner to, to figure out what to do and then to build it is a a phenomenally difficult task so uh, so how Mm -hmm. long does it take to to go from initial phone call to actually having a done for you system built yes so the way that it works is we have you're assigned a project manager that project manager eats sleeps and breathes your project to make sure you get it delivered as efficiently as possible so it is dependent on you being able to get your like they'll tell you hey i need three to five pictures of this give me four to five pictures of that give me one thing like this upload your logo like this and this and, and like they will get very specific and then work with you on getting it done as fast as possible. So the average is 45 days, 45 to 55 days is is the actual kind of average. Although we deliver under 30 all the time. So, but that's only if someone's really motivated, if someone's dragging ass and then they take a week to get back to an email, you just bumped it out by a week. Right. But if someone yeah, says, if you, you know what? If you don't give us all your pictures and your coach's bios and your, and your logos and everything, then we can't finish your site because we don't have your stuff. We write so, the coach's bios, but yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> all right. But like, if we don't have the stuff to actually put on the website, then we can't get it done in, in under yes. 30 days. So the people that are on the ball and they just send us all their assets right away, we, we knock that shit out. But the people that, that drag their feet, of course, it's going to be longer for, the, for those people because we just don't have the things we need to deliver a finished product. Yep. That's all it comes down to. And your project manager, when you start off, there's a project kickoff call they walk you through it they actually take inventory on like how many coaches do you have what programs do you do like we really like get into what's happening in your business and then say okay based on everything we understand here is your project timeline what do you what does your schedule look like for the next month oh you have a trip coming up how can we work around that your project manager is there to help you get the job done as efficiently as possible and again that we structured in a way to where they're motivated to get it done as quickly as possible while getting a perfect 10 on quality across the board so that it's again it's a win-win and um, yeah, so that's how it works. Usually, forty-five to fifty-five days. Okay. So who who in the CrossFit market? Because this this is for affiliate owners only. Yes. Like who who is a good fit for this for this product? Like you know, brand new folks, super experienced folks, somewhere in the middle. Like what's what's the ideal client? 
The ideal client is the CrossFit gym owner who wants to build a great business. It really doesn't matter if someone is brand new and like literally hasn't even opened their doors yet. We've done that now many times where someone who you know has yeah. been following the show and says, I'm ready to do it. I want to open my gym and I want to get it right the first time. And we literally start with them two, three months before they even open and get their strategy right, get their system right so that they start the right way the first time and bypass the whole first two years of bullshit startup mode and get right into building a legit business. Mm. That's one end and then we have the like old dogs that have been around like six seven eight nine years and have already built a business where the service is amazing mm -hmm. but the business has never actually caught up right and you have like they're like dude i've been like beating my head against the brick wall the last like three years i just have not been growing i need systemization the benefits are going to be different for everyone because this is such a holistic approach right just like how in crossfit you're like well what's the benefits of crossfit well, what's your situation? Are, were you fit and you're trying to get fitter and be competitive? Were you totally out of shape and now you needed to get, you know, lose some weight? Are you, did you always hate fitness and now you love fitness? Like it, it, it <laughs> provides a lot of value in not just like it'll grow your business and retain some members. It also saves your staff time. It gives you peace of mind knowing on, I have a plan and I know where I'm actually going, which first of all, most CrossFit gym owners don't even have. They're just like, I just know I need more members. Like that all needs to be considered in this equation. So, um, we, just in the overall approach to this thing, we make sure that this actually applies to your vision. So we say, where are you? Where do you want to go? And let's build it accordingly. So whether brand new or long-standing gym, it really doesn't matter. As long as you want to, as long as you want to build a great business, this will help you get there. If you're looking for a silver bullet solution to like throw a, a, a band aid over like I'm refusing to work my ass off like and create a great service and connect with people and all that, please don't call me <laughs> because I'm tired of that. I've, I've had a few of those where people are like, well, I, you know, I, I just want to kind of like, I just need to grow more and like, I'm, I don't really want to care about the people that we're doing. Like, I just want to get out of this thing. It's just like, no, you know what? Go work with somebody else. I want to work with someone who's committed to providing an excellent experience to their members. That I can help you with. I can help you build a kick-ass CrossFit gym. All right, so you're, you're the person who does the majority of the discovery calls for mm -hmm. Logic. And so if someone thinks that they might be a good fit for the service, you know, what, what does that discovery call look like and, and how can somebody get a hold of you? Well, you can get a hold of us. You can go to barbellbusiness.com slash discovery and um, basically just schedule a discovery call. And the process is you'll fill out just a, a short little questionnaire so we can get a, a rough handle on, on kind of where you're at. Um, and then you're going to get on a call with my scheduling assistant and she's going to do some additional filtering to really get to know you and make sure that this is a good fit for both. And at that point, we can jump on a discovery call and now we can really dive into your business and say, all right, well, where are you? Where, you know, what do you want your business and your life to look like and where are you trying to go? And let's figure out if this is a good fit and we can actually help you get there. Because there's plenty of calls that I do where, again, where I'll talk to someone, it's like, we're not your solution for what you're trying to build and that's totally okay, high five. I wanna make sure that we can really knock it out of the park, but the whole point of the discovery call, it's kind of like a two-way interview almost. But um, yeah, so go to the website, fill out the discovery form and let's get on a call because I, I basically just get to know your entire situation and figure out where you're at and often give you some tips that you can apply right away. But more importantly, then we can see if we can get you really rock and rolling. Sounds great. Cool. All right, Sounds like deal. you know what to do. <laughs> see you there. What? Ha, 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 ha.